If you look towards something that is not at eye level, the angle your eyes make with the object is an angle of elevation or an angle of depression. So, for example, if we've got a little man here and his eyes are here, so his eye level is this dotted line, and then there's an object up here. If he was to look at that, this would be an angle of elevation because he's looking up. If there was an object down here and he was to look at this, then this would be an angle of depression. So it's all relative to if he was looking just straight forward. These angles can be used to calculate the height and distance of objects. So for example, we've got here, this is Bill. He's 30 meters away, we can see that there, from a church, which is this. When he looks at the top of the church spire, the angle of elevation is 45 degrees. And we know that Bill's eye level is 1.5 meters above the ground. So how tall is the church spire? So using that, we can now just use trigonometry. We've got the opposite is what we want to find. We have the adjacent and then we have this angle here. So we're going to use tan because tan of x is the opposite over the adjacent. So as I've just said, the opposite is h, the adjacent is 30 and x is 45. So subbing those in, we get tan of 45 is the opposite, which is h over the adjacent, which is 30. Then we can do a little bit of rearranging and we end up with 30 tan 45 is h. Now, either you can use a calculator for this or you need to know that tan 45 is one. So this is the same as 30 times one. So just 30, which is h. But we're not quite done. This is not the height of the church spire as this was calculated from Bill's eye level. So we need to add the height that Bill's eye level is above the ground to this so that we get the height of the church spire from the ground. Okay, so all we need to do then is 30 plus 1.5 and that gets you 31.5 meters in this case. Meters because we use meters here. And also we knew his height, but not his height, his eye level was in meters. Example three, angles of elevation and depression. Jess looks downwards at a frisbee that has landed four meters away from her feet. If Jess's eye level is 1.7 meters above the ground, find the angle of depression. Give your answer to one decimal place. So nicely, we've got a little diagram here and you can see we're trying to find this value of X. There's a couple of ways that we can do this. The easiest way is going to be relabel this side and this side. Because this is a rectangle, we know this side will also just be four. And we know that this side will be 1.7 meters. Then we can just use tan again, because this is the opposite. This is the adjacent, and then this is our angle. And remember, tan x is the opposite over the adjacent, so subbing in the values that we know. Well, we don't know what x is, that's what we're trying to find. But we do know that the opposite is 1.7, and we know that the adjacent is four. So we get this. From there, we need to use the inverse tan function to get what x is. So we're gonna do tan to the minus one of 1.7 over four. And this will give us x, which is 23 0 degrees. If you found this video useful, why not try the topic exam on our learning platform? Here, you can answer a series of questions and get instant feedback on how you've done, both in a written format and a video solution format. So you can see here a quick explanation of how you should have solved it. In this case, I got it right. However, if I was unsure, I can view a video solution where an expert will talk you through exactly how to solve the problem.